iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing. Hi, my name's Robert Creighton, and I play the Duke of Wesselton. No, Weaseltown. Wesselton. In Disney's Broadway production of Frozen, the musical. And we will be there again. We will be there at the St. James Theater, and you will come. It's a glorious night at the theater. Beautiful. And uh, I look forward to when... I'm back with my frozen family. I miss them so much. And, uh, and when you're all there in the audience. I've been asked a great question. I'm so glad I got asked this. To give um, a little pandemic playlist, if you will. Some songs from the musical theater to help lift us up and get us through this insane, uh, sort of hard to get your mind around and painful time uh, for so many. Um, but I think music is really something, and especially, especially music from the musical theater uh, can be so powerful during a time like this to really inspire and to give you peace um, or to help let out anger or whatever it is you need. Um, it's there in these stories. Uh, so I wanna give you a quick five song rundown. The first, and with a couple of little twists on the rules, because I'm going to start with the whole musical of Anything Goes. In particular, if you want to listen to a great score, the 2011 revival of Anything Goes. Um, and I'll point you to one song to get started, Friendship, uh, sung by the um, the legend, the longtime legend, Joel Gray, and the, the modern day super legend, Sutton Foster. Uh, the whole cast was incredible. Colin Donnell and Laura Osmonds and Adam Godley, directed and choreographed by Kathleen Marshall with dance arrangements by David Chase and orchestrations by Bill Elliott. I mean, it was it was an amazing thing. And I got to play the purser in it, which I was so grateful for. And when people ask me, um, what's one of the most fun times you've ever ha had on stage? Getting to um, understudy Joel Gray and to go on quite a few times actually opposite Sutton Foster and um, Stephanie J. Block, uh, the amazing Stephanie J. Block when she was with us and sing that song, Friendship and Others uh, with them was such a joy and Cole Porter, has created, obviously, uh, this score that is just so earwormy. The tunes will get stuck in your head and you will be glad that they did. Um, genius lyrics, tuneful music, and friendship in particular, a, a lot of fun. Um, and speaking of friendship, we're all, a lot of us are at home now, um, a lot more than we usually are with our significant others. And uh, you wanna hope that your friendship is in good shape. And I hit the jackpot in that regard. I really like my wife, so that's a good thing because we are together all the time right now. Um, and so when I said to her, I'm doing this sort of five song uh, list, um, any thoughts? And she immediately said, I chose right. Uh, the song from Baby, which is one of her favorite musicals by Maltby and Shire. And so that's fun because um, it's, a, it's a great score also, but you also wanna hope you chose right. And in my case, I did, thank God. Um, but uh, I Chose Right is the second song I wanted to put on my list. Uh, and the third thing I want to point out, again, another score of the full Monty, uh, David Yazbek. I mean, I don't know him personally. I got to meet him recently, and he was just the coolest guy. He writes such phenomenal music. He just brings the funny, like, uh, in such a unique way. He's, he's brilliant. Uh, and certainly in my top 10 scores to listen to, the full Monty is there. And I want to point out two particular songs. Um, the first one is Breeze Off the River. Uh, the dad sings and just, you know, for those of us who have been thrust sort of immediately into this new role of homeschooling and 24 seven being with our kids at home, I have two uh, six and an eight year old and it's a challenge. It's wonderful, it is a gift of time. It certainly is, I'm building so many memories, but it's, it's certainly a challenge. And that song, Breeze Off the River, is one that so many parents will be able to relate to. Am I doing it well? Like, it's on me now. All the activities are gone. The soccer and the piano lessons and the hockey and the ballet and the gymnastics, they're all, they're all gone for now. And it's my job and my wife's job to help our kids grow through this time. And are we doing it right? It's a challenge. And that song is not only one of my favorite songs to sing, but it's just such a beautiful song, Breeze Off the River. And uh, the other song that's my favorite in there, um, I, I Walk With You sung by, oh, the tenor of Jason Daniele. Ay, ay, ay. It's so beautiful. Put that on headphones and listen to it loud. It will make you cry. Um, and there's so many people who suffered loss already through this time and or are separated 
even from the people they really want to be with or love and can't be with them, this song of, of knowing that, that those people are there with you through this time, um, it's incredibly powerful. The Full Monty is third on my list. Fourth, I want to talk about Sweeney Todd. Oh my gosh. When I was younger, I used to like clean my apartment or go out for a walk through New York City when I first got here and listened to Sondheim's Sweeney Todd from start to finish really loud. It is so uh, visceral and uh, visceral respo uh, response to it I always had. And um, one of my favorite songs to sing also from that is Not While I'm Around. And of course, in the musical, it's sung by Tobias to Mrs. Lovett. But if you put it through the filter right now of, well, for me, having kids and knowing my number one job is to protect them and to do what's right to protect them um, through this crazy time. Um, it's it's a powerful song, Not While I'm Around. Uh, such a beautiful piece of music and listen to it through the context of where we are right now, especially if you're a parent, woo, it'll get you. Um, and lastly, uh, I wanna talk about a movie musical that's fairly recent uh, called The Greatest Showman, Patrick and Paul who are just modern day genius writers, um, getting all the accolades they fully deserve. Uh, and my six year old daughter, Sam, has been singing A Million Dreams sort of on loop uh, around the house, but I don't mind. Um, it is a phenomenal song, gorgeous song. In fact, I, I'm not helping because anytime I'm on a Zoom call or any kind of FaceTime thing, I'm like, Sam, come sing your song, sing your song. It, it just gets me, I love it. And um, the, the words, cause every night I lie in bed the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me awake. I think of what the world could be. A vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all it's gonna take. A million dreams of the world we're gonna make. Um, music like that uh, is such a powerful tool right now to help lift us up and get us through this insane time. And those are some just some suggestions for me. Anything Goes, Baby, The Full Monty, Sweeney Todd, The Greatest Showman. Um, to offer to you to help lift you up perhaps or to give you some peace and to help move through this time which we will get through and when we get to the other side the theater and musical theater and, and this music will be such um, soothing stuff for our souls and to be together and get to, to hear it um, live again will be an amazing thing but for now we get to do our part and listen to it at home I wish you all great health and um, glad to get to share these with you Take good care. iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing.